These pesky little things are a huge problem in the world of coffee. You know, billions of them get made each and every year, and yet all these pods, most of them end up in landfills. And yet, pod coffee brewers continue to be the most popular way that people make coffee at home. You know, you see these machines everywhere, and everybody and their uncle seems to have a solution to the waste problem. You know, these ones are recyclable. You'll see biodegradable ones. You'll see compostable ones. And we'll talk about this, but in my opinion, none of those solutions are particularly satisfying. You know, as I've built this channel time and time again, I've thought eventually somebody is going to come along and crack this problem. And then somebody messaged me with a almost counterintuitive solution to this problem. And that was the sponsor of this video. Today's video is sponsored by Bruvi, the same people who manufacture the coffee maker that we're gonna be looking at in today's video. Bruvi is offering you $100 off their Bruvi bundle when you use my code daddygotcoffee on their shop. Now, Bruvi hasn't just made one of the nicest pod coffee makers that I've used. They also have some pretty crazy claims around the sustainability of their pods. So crazy that I flat out didn't believe them when I first heard them. Sound interesting? It is. Let's listen in. Now, any kind of grandiose solution to coffee pods and the waste problem that they create has got to be preempted by a really nice coffee brewer and great coffee. Otherwise, the whole thing is kind of like a non-starter. And the Bruvi really does deliver in this regard. You know, it's very nicely finished. The handle here is metal. You have all these nice accents on here. The screen is really nice. That's something I noticed right away. It's very crisp and polished looking. All the finishes, it just feels very put together and premium in the way that they've kind of combined all the pieces. Some fun surprises in the design a little bit later, but what about the coffee? Because that is the other big component of a system like this. And I was very skeptical about that to begin with because frankly, I hadn't had a lot of great experiences with single serve pre-ground coffee pods. You know, the coffee in them isn't often very good. They often use a very, very small amount of coffee. So it ends up being kind of bitter and over extracted and right off the bat I was kind of happy to see that Bruvi had partnered with some very nice roasters that I have respect for outside of its ecosystem. Roasters like Clatch and Equator, you know, these are people who take their coffee sourcing very seriously. They're producing very nice coffees. And Bruvi has also teamed up with a Q grader to make sure that their in-house roasted coffees are very good as well. They also use more coffee per pod than what you would typically see. Each B pod has about, you know, 15 grams of coffee and that's several grams more than you would get in a comparable style pod. And that ends up with like a nicer, rounder, less bitter, smoother flavor. So better pod machine, check. Better coffee than you would typically find, check. Now, my wife Sarah loves a good cup of coffee, but she can't really be bothered to learn to make a pour over or mess around with an espresso machine like she's just not interested, she wants it simpler. You know, as I'm reviewing stuff, I poke fun of this in my reels, we very often find each other kind of like negotiating for how much coffee stuff can actually be out in our kitchen. So I was very surprised when I took this out of the box, we started using it and she kind of said to me, you know, if that could maybe stick around and, you know, we can maybe have that available to use, I would think that would be very nice. Check. So then when I started to dig into how the brewer was actually put together, there was a couple fun little surprises that I noticed. Number one, typically with pod coffee makers, you know, you put the pod in the top, it gets punctured in the top and the bottom, forces water through, the water comes out the bottom of the pod, goes through the machine and ends up coming out a nozzle into your cup. The gross thing about that is that kind of runway that the brewed coffee passes through can get caked and gunked up over time and really negatively impact the flavor of your coffee. And what's really nice about the Bruvi is, you know, you put the pod in the top, very similar to any other machine like this, and you close it, 
and you'll hear that crunch. And what's happening when you hear that, it's getting punctured in the top, but there is actual no puncture in the bottom. It actually crunches open the side of the pod on around the edge and it pushes the water through, gets brewed in there, and then it kind of comes back out and drops right from the pod into your cup. It doesn't actually touch the coffee maker at all. And I thought, wow, that idea just makes so much more sense. It's much cleaner. It's not gonna get gunked up because the brewed coffee doesn't ever actually touch any part of the machine, just the pod. It's also got a totally separate hot water outlet. So if you're doing like an Americano style drink, the extra water that's getting dispensed into your cup comes directly out of that nozzle. It doesn't also get forced through the pod. And that's a much nicer design than what you would typically see in comparable coffee makers. Features wise, there's a lot of flexibility on how you brew you know it'll pull a recipe off each pod automatically but you can also change your cup size change your strength brew for low acid do like an iced coffee style cold brew style espresso style you can adjust all of that on the screen and so you're getting a lot more options than you would typically find on a pod coffee maker it's got an app where you can control all of that too as well as schedule a brew but unlike a lot of other coffee makers I've used that leverage apps you don't really feel like you're missing out on any kind of serious functionality by not using it because it's all right there on the screen. It's very user-friendly convenient. They've had the brewer tested by SGS, which is industry standard kind of testing and certification company based in Switzerland. And a lot of the internals are actually tested to the same standards as baby bottles would be tested to. So if plastic, you know, flavor is something that you're concerned about. We opened it, ran a couple cleaning cycles and I tasted some just water through it and it was totally flavorless. So that was great. And one other thing that I did is I actually opened up a pod and I did what's called cupping the pod, which is like brewing it in a little bowl and tasting it to kind of evaluate its quality. It was very good. And the coffee brewed through the brewy. I tasted them side by side and I was very happy. Like it, it, the flavor profile was there and the cup tasted out of the brewy. You know, it was very good and right in line with the flavor profile out of this kind of cupping method that I like to use. So as far as the brewer and the coffee goes, there was a lot of things that were lining up in a good way, but that's still brings us back to the pesky little problem of the plastic waste created by single-use pre-ground coffee pods. And to that, Bruvi says, we figured it out, just toss them. And this is where I really started to push back because that idea is, it's so counterintuitive to think that that is an acceptable solution or that somebody has figured out a way to make that an acceptable solution. You know, you have to ask yourself if somebody had figured out how to make that acceptable, wouldn't everybody be doing it? And everybody is not doing it. You know, one thing you need to know is when it comes to sustainability and especially around like coffee, you know, a lot of these terms that get thrown around like sustainable, biodegradable, recyclable, like a lot of it is just marketing theater. You know, recyclable pods, they're great. This plastic pod is recyclable. But the problem is in a lot of recycling facilities, they're actually too small to be processed properly. So they end up getting kicked off the line and diverted to a landfill anyways. Something I didn't know, but you know, with compostable pods, most of them just get thrown in the garbage anyway ways to which you think ah, it's fine in the landfill it will kind of break down because it's compostable I didn't learn this to tell a couple of years ago but when you send compostable stuff to a landfill it doesn't actually break down because compost it needs to have oxygen to actually break down and the landfill environment is what's called an anaerobic environment you know everything gets packed in and there's no oxygen to actually help stuff break down in that kind of compostable manner biodegradable pods sometimes they kind of break down but into all these little tiny microplastic particles that we're learning are even worse for the environment so there's just like a lot of theater and when Bruvi comes along and says you know we got this guilt-free toss with our bee pods just throw them in the trash it felt like more of that to me so because it seemed like such a brazen claim my curiosity got the better of me and i had to start digging into how they were making this claim because it seemed a little ridiculous and you may or may not know this about me but i'm a bit of a science geek i like following all the latest headlines especially around you know renewable technologies and that kind of thing and there are these articles that have been written in the last year or two about these they kind of refer to them as like miracle enzymes that they break down or like they eat plastic 
until there's absolutely like nothing left. And this technology is kind of being put forward as a potential solution to like landfills or plastic waste in oceans. And the Beruvi bee pods are made using one of these enzymes. Now, Bruvi is of course keeping the exact enzyme they use a trade secret, which I didn't love, um, but I kind of get it from their perspective, you know. These pods are ASTM tested, which is uh, it's a type of test that shows how a material or a product breaks down in the anaerobic environment of a landfill. Now, they're also tested for food safety, just like any other product that you might buy that is coming in contact with food. But what really got me with them is the way the enzyme works is it doesn't actually start breaking down the plastic until it's in that anaerobic environment of a landfill. And when it does start breaking it down, it doesn't break it down into microplastics, it actually breaks it down completely into both water and gas. Now landfills in the US, they have gas capture systems designed to prevent that gas from just escaping into the atmosphere and an increasing number of them are using gas to energy systems. So they capture that gas and convert it to so-called renewable energy, up to you if you wanna call it that or not. And that is one of the talking points that Bruvi kind of uses on their site. And it's like, it's just crazy to me that you can have one of these pods and have it break down into nothing but water and gas, but that's what happens. And this kind of gave me a window of of hope into the future. Because, you know, you hear a lot about these kind of pie in the sky technologies that are coming one day in the future to kind of solve a big problem that the world is having. And that's not what this is. Like, well, that's what this was. And now it's this product that is sitting right in front of me. And what I kept coming back to was Pod coffee makers aren't going anywhere anytime soon. This is a very good one, but it still has that single serve issue. If coffee makers like that are gonna to continue to get used and we have the technology to make sure that the plastic waste that is heading the landfill gets broken down into nothing but gas and water, shouldn't we be using that? And the only answer that I could come to was, yeah, we probably should be. Overall, I have to say, of course, the Bruvi coffee maker is very nice. It looks great. It makes a great cup of coffee. But what really got me about it is they have really innovated in a way that companies don't tend to innovate very often. They're using a brand new material science and they are trying to solve a very sticky issue in a very unique way. And I wanna know what you think about that. What do you think about this solution to the single serve coffee pod waste? What do you think of the Bruvi? Do you use a pod coffee maker at home or do you make coffee another way? I would love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments and until next time, happy brewing. For $100 off a Bruvi bundle, use Daddy Got Coffee at checkout on the Bruvi store.